Hi guys, welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality. And today, big news as Facebook unveils Oculus Quest 2 premium subscriptions. By the way, if you're new to the channel, very nice to meet you, and a huge welcome back to all our viewers and subscribers. Today's shout out goes to Kaysen2, Sebastian Ong from MRTV, and SR IRL. Are you ready? Let's rock this joint. This video is not sponsored by VR-Wave.store, however, they have sent us a couple of their lens prescription adapters and I can tell you they're really awesome, especially for the Oculus Quest 2 as they have a magnetic technology. So do use the promotional code VR Essentials to redeem a 5% discount. Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? And welcome to everybody. I hope you're doing well. So big news as Facebook are unveiling the Oculus Quest 2 premium subscription. Of course, it's not just for the Oculus Quest 2, it will also be for the Oculus Quest 3 potentially. And who knows when they're going to announce that because, you know, with AirLink and also the 120 hertz refresh rate update in Software 28, this is a hint that Oculus Quest 1, perhaps, who knows, you know, maybe they're no longer going to start updating this headset quite soon. It is a very strong signal, which potentially could mean Oculus Quest 3 could be announced in the pipeline as well. But let's focus on today's news first. Now, this is very interesting for Facebook as they're going to be taking on basically Viveport, who have a subscription based model as well when it comes to the VR applications. Let's not confuse things. However, as Viveport, although they do offer a subscription, it is not meant for premium content. It is purely for people giving them the option who perhaps are not comfortable buying a VR application on a one app per app basis because it can be pretty costly and who would rather just pay one monthly fee and play as many games as part of the Viveport subscription, depending on the plan that you would purchase, of course. However, Oculus are going with a different route, which is use subscription to provide more, I would say, very important people or VIP kind of premium services back to the community from the VR developers who are willing to produce certain content at a higher premium rate. Undoubtedly, this is a great marketing move by Facebook as they unveil their new subscription service and it's going to leave others, you know, playing catch up again, for example, Pico Interactive, who are launching the Pico Neo 3 next month. And they just launched Pico Studios, inviting developers from all over the world to submit their apps to the store. But the store do needs a little bit of work. For example, they need to be able to, you know, enable people to put a key inside so that family and friends can redeem the games and also developers can provide keys to content creators like VR Essentials to be able to review various different apps from that store. It also begs the question as whether Steam are going to eventually adopt a similar marketing strategy and so undoubtedly they're going to have to compete with Facebook Oculus stores and let's not forget the Steam generally the price in Steam is much lower than the Oculus Quest store. And also, let's not also forget that a lot of times the apps are available on the Oculus Rest store, which means it's cross compatible. And there are some very good prices and discounts there as well for people who want the game on the Quest, but at a fraction of the cost. Now, coming back to today's story, although we do not know the price of the subscription model at the moment, we do know it's going to take time for various different developers to jump on the bandwagon, as they say. But at the moment, we can confirm that there are these following apps, including Fit XR, Rec Room, Tribe XR, Trip, V Spatial, and V Fit in VR who will be taking place. So none of the big guns at this moment in time, I would say nothing to really get super excited about, but you know, it's a good opportunity for, for example, Rec Room, which is a free to download VR application to offer more premium services, you know, exclusively to the Oculus Quest store, of course, although it does, you know, we're gonna have to take a wait and see approach as to really how many people will, you know, want to purchase all these premium various different content and also what kind of content would it be? This is also something that we're going to have to, you know, wait and see. It seems that the premium subscription model by Facebook is focusing more on the practical uses of virtual reality at this moment in time. For example, Tribe XR, which focus more on DJing in VR and on, on doubtfully the leaders in this space. VFit, which is all about VR fitness, of course. V Spatial, which is about cross 
collaboration, and trip, which is all about relaxation, meditation. So who knows when they're going to trickle down to those, you know, AAA games, for example. But at the moment, this seems to be the route that they're going for, other than, of course, Rec Room, which focused more on the teenage kind of space and, you know, as it were, a social VR application. Guys, just a reminder that you do need a Facebook account in order to use your Oculus Quest 2. So, you know, do be aware of this and they have deleted accounts before. Do not create fake accounts. It's just not going to work. They will just delete your account straight away. So, you know, just be aware of these kind of things. By the way, guys, today at 12 p.m. PST, we're taking part on the Between Realities podcast, which is frigging awesome. Other really big people have been on that show, so it's pretty honorable for us to be there, including Nate VR, MRTV, Sebastian Ong, Gamertag, Tyro, and so many others. So do go and check it out and take part. We'll see you there, hopefully. Otherwise, do watch the replay. I'll put a link in the description below the like button for you. Guys, I'd also like to give a big thank you to you for coming to the channel and leaving all your various different comments. You guys are super awesome. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers. Do make sure you're part of the notification squad after you subscribe so YouTube tells you when we upload new videos inside of your YouTube feed. But until next time, I will see you in the next video. Ciao!